Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. So it's the hour for revival. Glory, hallelujah. I'm your brother in the Lord, brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm preaching again tonight because Facebook deleted the first video. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm preaching tonight when death meets his day of destiny. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Death has got a day of destiny coming. Come on, somebody. Can you say amen to that? Hallelujah. Death is going to be no more. Death shall be destroyed because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Wendy, God bless you. Doug, God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm going to just go live a few minutes and let people tune in, and then we're going to get into the Word of God tonight, entitling the message, When Death Meets His Day of Destiny, Des Moines, Iowa. God bless you, Pastor Mike. God bless you. Love you, brother. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Thomas, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to the book of 1 Corinthians 15, 20 through 28. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 20 through 28. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And this will be a teaching preaching tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, hide me behind the cross. Let it be none of me, but all of you. Spit of these lips of clay. Let everybody leave here singing, I got just what I wanted. And more from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We how are we are going to get so blessed tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. The last video before it was deleted got three, God gave three souls a new life. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians 15, 20 through 28. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Amen. But now... Is Christ risen from the dead because, uh, oops, and has become the first fruit of them that sleep? It says, but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Those in the Old Testament waited for him to come. Those that died believing that he would come. The Bible said he went and ministered to those under the earth that was waiting on him to get there. Because until after Jesus, and until Jesus died and rose, no one could get into heaven. They was in paradise, which was located under the chambers of the earth. But now check this out. When he rose, he took captivity captive. And those that was in paradise, he gave gifts unto them. He gave himself unto them. And he rose up. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. There was so much power coming off of Jesus when he got up. Remember, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. He said, if any man believe in me, though he were dead, 
Yet shall he live. I know he was talking about Lazarus, but he's talking about everybody that puts their trust and their faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Dad Robin, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyone who puts their life in the hands of Jesus Christ, those people die with hope of a greater future. Their, their spirit is already with the Lord. Absent from this body, their soul, their spirit is, is with the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Absent from this body is to be present with the Lord when we die after accepting Jesus truly into our life. Hey, Pastor Marilyn, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. When we die accepting Jesus Christ without doubt, but accepting him fully, when we die, we live with him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said, to live is Christ. To die is gain. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I like how he, I like how the old saying the, the old saying goes. The old sayers say it like this. If I if I live, I'm a winner. If I die, I'm a winner. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. If I leave this world born again. I'm going to heaven. I'm, I'm leaving this world a bet, for a better place and a better home because I've got hope in the resurrection morning. Somebody better shout amen. I know where I'm going. I've already got my ticket for eternity. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you don't know how to get your ticket for eternity... I'm going to show you by the end of the message tonight how to get your ticket for eternity, how to make your reservation ready to, to leave this world and be with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, the Bible says that the soul that sinneth will die. Let me tell you something. Do you know if that soul dies in his sin, it's going to hell? But Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. God said, I'll come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. See, Jesus is God. He is Lord and he is God. Amen. And the Lord said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He said, the thief coming not but to kill, steal, and to destroy. But I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He said in his own word, it's not my will that any should perish, but that all might come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is is not his will that you should perish, but all could come to salvation through Jesus Christ. Amen. The saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But it says, Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Paul said that the Lord will judge the quick and the dead at his appearing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But let me tell you something. There's two thrones. There's the Bema seat of Christ. The hallelujah. The judgment seat of mm, glory to God. The judgment seat where we receive rewards or losses for what we've done in our life. But if you appear at the Bema seat, baby, you're in. But if you get to make it, and I hope you don't get to make it to the white throne judgment, because if you get to the white throne judgment, there ain't no hope for you. Oh, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, the names, he said, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged, which was written out of that book. And he said, if their names were not found written in the Lamb's book of life, 
They were cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 2015, I believe it is. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. They were cast into the lake of fire. Well, there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. That is the second death, the Bible says. Thank you, Jesus. But Jesus died and rose again that you don't have to fear death. There's a lot of people today that are afraid of death. But the Bible said fear hath torment. Remember, God had not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Because of what Jesus done, you ain't got to be afraid of death or dying. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For God I live and for God I die. I'm not afraid of death because I've come in to a relationship with everlasting life. Whoa, somebody better shout, thank you, Jesus. I've come into a relationship with everlasting life. Oh, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Like the song Sister Amy Grant recorded, How are you going to threaten me with heaven? Threaten me with heaven if you want to. You, you can't threaten a Christian with death because we don't die. <laughs> you can't kill us. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. That's why all our brothers overseas, all our sisters overseas, die with a smile on their face because they're getting ready to step beyond that veil into eternity and life everlasting. Let me tell you something. Eternal life does not begin. Everlasting life does not begin when you die. Everlasting life begins when you accept Jesus Christ. Your eternal life begins in heaven, but your everlasting life begins when you accept Jesus Christ into your life. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to, to the Lord God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I'm glad that Facebook deleted the first message. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ is the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What is he saying? He said, God is coming to claim those that belong to him. Those that have his name on that day, he's going to claim them. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. See, right now, we can boldly come before the throne of grace, making our petition known to receive help in time of trouble. But one day, trouble's going to come for the world, for those that reject Jesus Christ. A trouble that they cannot escape is going to come. If I preach just heaven without preaching hell, then I wouldn't be true to the gospel. Jesus spoke more on hell than he did heaven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. I do love you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But every man in his own order. Christ, the first fruits. Afterwards, they that are Christ at his coming. He said, as I resurrected from the dead, you're going to get up. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. See, let me tell you, the resurrection day, baby, that's the day I get fitted for the new me. They just going to get the measurements right. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you can't laugh in God, you already dead, baby. Come on, somebody. Hello, Patty. Hello, Eric. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. But every man in his own order, 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power. Wait a minute. It says the kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of our God. <laughs> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our God and the power of His Christ. Hear what I'm preaching tonight. And the power of His Christ. Can somebody say amen? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I told you this is going to be a teaching preaching. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Go with me to 2 Peter. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 2 Peter 1 and 11. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Can somebody say thank you, Jesus? Second Peter. I'm in first Peter. Thank you, Jesus. Second Peter. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. One and eleven. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wait a minute. Actually, let's go to verse 10. Amen. Wherefore, rather, brethren. Give deliverance to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall not fail. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Stay where God has planted you. Stay in the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, de deliverance is the wrong word. Diligence, sorry about that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. He said, stay with it. Don't back down. You stay where God has put you and where God has called you to. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, in doing so, you will not fail. Amen. You shall... He said, you shall never fail. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said the spirit of God within us is to keep us from stumbling. He said the kingdom of heaven is within men. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. He said, don't let a man say the kingdom's over here or the kingdom's over there. For the kingdom of heaven is within men. Come on, somebody. He has put his treasure in earthen vessels. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said it is God's good pleasure to give to his children the kingdom. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of, the, of these things, though you know them and be established in the present truth. He said, I'm going to continue to remind you whose kingdom you're with. Be diligent. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep pursuing the things of God. And God will keep using you. We need to be in constant pursuit of the things of God. Can you say amen? Thank you, Jesus. I hope this is blessing people. I hope that the Lord's people will share this message tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Please share this message, everybody. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We got to be diligent. 
We got to be diligent. We got to keep going on. Amen. We can't stop now. Okay. You got church hurt. Keep going. Okay. Everybody in your family now rejects you because you follow Jesus. Keep going. Be diligent. Keep doing the work of God. Stay in your elected spot. Stay in your calling and keep going. Don't stop. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I tell you, I'm glad the first video got deleted. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. But now let's go back to this. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It said, For he must reign. It, all the kingdoms of the world are going to be handed over to the Father. All of the kingdoms of the world. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All dominion and power. Thank you, Jesus. When he shall have put down the rule and all, all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. Psalms 110, verse 1. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. So how does this tie in to death meeting his day of destiny? I'm glad you asked. Thank you, Jesus. I said ask. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad you asked. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. The last enemy, verse 26, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Amen. Hallelujah. Revelation 20 and 14. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Death and hell shall be cast in to the lake of fire. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. That black hooded dreaded messenger will be cast into the lake of fire. Hallelujah, Jesus. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Hear what I'm preaching tonight. Death is a spirit. Listen to me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Then come at the end, it said. But now, hold on. Death is the last enemy, and he's going to be thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 20, 14. Thank you, Jesus. For he hath put all things under his feet. Remember the Bible says that Christ is seated above every principality and power. The Bible said he has stripped them, rendered them powerless, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. But Psalms 110 verse 1 says, Stay here un my Lord, his Lord said to, my, my Lord said to his Lord, stay here, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know something. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Amen. For he hath put all things. He hath. He hath. He hath. Listen to that. For he, not that he will. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith, all things are put under him. It is manifest that he is accepted which did put all things under him. Amen. And now we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Do you know that there are believers right now that are around us and we can't see them? 
Because we're seated with him, so we're surrounded by them. Hold on now. Hebrews 12 and 1, seeing that we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. Let us run the race. With what? Let's go. Hebrews 12, 1. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Stay with me, class. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 1. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Are y'all loving the second message tonight? Amen. And God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, I love you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Well, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Well, glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, glory. I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless God. Here you go. I <laughs> found it. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Amen. Hebrews 11. I'm sorry. Hebrews 12 and 1. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside. It didn't say they was over our head. It said they were around about us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Because we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. They're with Him, so we're with them. Glory to God. Can somebody shout amen? Thank you, Jesus. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run this race with patience. The race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, not them, looking unto Jesus. The author and finisher of our faith. It starts with him, it ends with him. And let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, if you don't like the way your life's going right now, the author of glory still writing your story just hold on god's about to change some things in your life amen thank you holy ghost glory to god amen hallelujah i hope people are getting blessed tonight amen thank you jesus well glory hallelujah lord amen thank you jesus thank you jesus i'm so glad i didn't go to bed yet amen hallelujah I'm so fired up now, I don't know if I could go to bed. <laughs> Bless God, hallelujah. Bless God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, amen. Thank you, Jesus. It said he put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Now, wait a minute. Jesus is God. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. He is Lord, and he is God in flesh. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, he is going to be ruling now and forever. Revelation 11, 15. Sister Tanya, God bless you. I'm glad you tuned in. Love you, sister. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. He will reign forever, King of kings and Lord of lords. There is victory in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. There is victory in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. He makes you free. 
He sets you free from even the fear of death. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. He sets you free from even the very fear of death. For the Lord your God shall be your peace. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something, friends. A shadow can't touch you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. He said, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You make me to lie down in green pastures. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just go over to Psalms 23. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I hope there's enough battery life on this phone. Amen. Second message tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Fear is going to die tonight. You're going to go free from fear. Somebody needs to be delivered from fear. You're going free from fear tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Well, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Psalms, uh, the 23rd chapter. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I hope people are sharing tonight. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restored my soul. Wait a minute. Check this out. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He's already provided it all for you. When Jesus said, it is finished, he didn't say he was finished. He said, it was finished. Everything you needed done was done. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. His, the kingdom is a person. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. He said, for your heavenly father. He said, I believe it's right before that. He said, for your father in heaven knows you need all these things. Before you ask, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, before you ask, but you're still to ask, amen. Remember the scripture says, knock and keep knocking, seek and keep seeking, amen, hallelujah. For those that knock, the door will be open. For those that seek, they shall find, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, amen. But he is your all in all. He's everything you need, amen. Thank you, Jesus. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He maketh me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. What's he doing? He's making me lie down in green pastures. He's saying, just sit still a little while. Sometimes we run ahead of God and ourselves. And we end up missing the blessing. But let me tell you something. If you miss the blessing the first time, the blessing's coming back around. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. God will provide for you. He will bless you. But just sit still sometimes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. Hold your peace and the Lord shall fight for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Some of us learn how to fight very well. But we're not fighting flesh and blood. We're fighting spirit. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. So we need to ask God to help us 
Fight in the spiritual fight. Amen. I preached about this last night. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why? Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. Bible said we're to take every thought captive that would exalt itself above the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Well, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He restoreth my soul. He said he leads me beside still waters. Amen. Bless God. He restoreth my soul. Somebody needs their soul restored. Somebody needs their peace restored. Somebody needs their joy restored. If you're watching me tonight, this message is for you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Well, glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now remember, when he said salvation, you know, the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are saved. The word saved is sozo, meaning completely lacking nothing. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Amen. He wants to save you, but not just you. Your whole house too. Ah, oh, I got a word right there from the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. He said, you and your household shall be saved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God ain't just going to take care of you. He's going to take care of your whole household too. They're going to be blessed by association. Oh, I hope somebody's getting blessed tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. Seek ye the kingdom of God, Matthew 6, 33, and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Come on. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Who's he with? You and me. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. Thou, thou, you preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. When David was writing this, he was remembering what God did for him. How he delivered him from the valley. And how he anointed his head with oil to be king. Oh, Hallelujah. In the midst of his brothers, God prepared a table, and he anointed his head with oil. Hebrews 1, 9, thy God, even thy God. It says, because you have loved righteousness and hated iniquity. There's that word righteousness again, amen. Hallelujah, bless everybody, God. Because thou hast loved righteousness and you've hated iniquity, he said, thy God, even thy God shall anoint you with oil, the oil of gladness, even above your brethren. You're going to be so blessed by God walking with him, him, that you won't even know what you're going to do about it. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. God wants to bless you like that. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Amen. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me 
all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Let me ask you, who's living in your house tonight? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. This second message just took a whole new turn. Hallelujah. Yeah, this body is subject to die one day if the Lord shall tarry. But my question is for you. Hebrews 9, 27. It's appointed unto man once to die. And then after that, cometh the judgment. If you were to die tonight, where would you spend eternity? Would you spend it in heaven or would you spend it in hell? If I just preached about heaven tonight and not about hell, I wouldn't be true to the gospel. Jesus spoke more on hell than he did on heaven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Death has got a day of destiny. When death will be cast in the lake of fire, Revelation 20, 14. But my fear is that some of you tonight watching, if you don't repent tonight, my fear is some of you will end up with him. People say, oh, don't try to scare me, preacher. Wait a minute. The Bible says save some by love and some by fear. Even hating the garments of sin that they're wearing. Love them, not the sin. Amen. Love the sinner hate the sin. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Excuse me. My sinuses are really giving me trouble tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? But if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior tonight, you know what's going to happen. 1 Corinthians 15.55 When the resurrection morning happens. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Death shall be swallowed up in victory. O grave, where is thy sting? O death, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Amen. Death will be swallowed up. In victory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bishop Richard, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, Sister Cheryl, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 15, 55, death shall be swallowed up in victory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you this. You can cancel a doctor's appointment. You can cancel a dentist appointment. You can cancel an appointment with a friend, but there's one appointment you and I will not cancel. If the Lord shall tarry, we will all meet a day of destiny when our body lay back to the earth, goes back to the earth. But wait one minute. Thank you, Jesus. There is a resurrection morning. Thank you, Jesus. When those that are righteous will rise to everlasting life, but those that were unrighteous will rise to everlasting damnation. Which side of the graveyard are you going to be on when the trumpet blows? Amen. Woo, bless God. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. You know what? I know some people want to be cremated, and I know others want to be buried. Here's the truth. No matter how fancy your tombstone may be, 
We all going to end up in the Lord Terry. We're all going to end up in a graveyard, either a watery graveyard or a graveyard picked out by our loved ones somewhere. It, we're all going to end up in a graveyard. The rich and the poor. The free and the bond. We're all going to end up somewhere. Either in heaven or hell. Charlie Daniels, whose side are you on? <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I tell you what, to be honest, I thank God I got to do a second video because I missed the chance to do the first video like this. It looks sort of grim for the Grim Reaper now. Hallelujah. Because the Grim Reaper is going to be thrown into the lake of fire. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Death will be conquered. We're gonna sing a new song. And I won't fear the crossing, for it leads me home. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Death will be conquered. We're gonna sing a new song. Hallelujah. And I won't fear the crossing, for it leads me on. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, Revelation 21 and 4, there's going to be no more death. There's going to be no more sorrow. There's going to be no more pain. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you why. Because Jesus holds the keys to death and hell. Revelation 118. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus holds the key to death and hell. If he holds the key to death and hell, that means you need to get to know him. Because he's your only way out of hell. And he's your only way into heaven. Jesus said, no man cometh to the Father but by me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Jesus said, no man cometh to the Father but by me. He said, whoever comes to me, I by no means turn away. He said, but you can only come as the Spirit is drawing you. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. There are those that are spiritually dead right now. You're getting ready to have a spiritual resurrection right now watching this video. Them dry bones are about to come alive in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved in Jesus' name. Lord, wash me, cleanse me, fill me with your Spirit that I might make heaven my home in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. If you prayed that prayer, write to me. Let me know what God has done for you. I want to celebrate with you. Kid Henry, K-I-D-D-H-E-N-R-Y-617 at gmail.com. Kid Henry, K-I-D-D-H-E-N-R-Y-617 at gmail.com. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Sister Frances, Maggie, God bless y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to send you out. A certificate of sonship if you prayed that prayer with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Chris, God bless you. Patty, God bless you. Everybody else tuning in, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. I love each and every one of you. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 
Now, if you are sick in your body, I curse every devil of sickness. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare creative miracles from the body part room in heaven in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, in Jesus' name, by his stripes you are healed. In Jesus' name, every symptom, every infirmity, Every sickness, I command it to loose your body in Jesus' name. I command every issue in the tissue be healed in Jesus' name. Father God, right now, I thank you and I call it done by faith in Jesus' name. Father, you sent your word and healed their disease. I thank you that by your stripes they are healed, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I take kingdom authority over every symptom. And I command it to leave and not return in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God, amen. Now, if you're bound up by any addiction, I command every addiction, receive an eviction by holy conviction. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I break and bind every power of darkness off of your life. In the name of Jesus, the anointing destroys the yoke now and forever. In Jesus' name, I declare you go free in Jesus' name. For he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Remember, the breaker anointing is in the place tonight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. The anointing destroys the yoke from off of your neck. In Jesus' name. Ooh, glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now. Thank you, Lord. Remember, he who the sun sets free is free indeed. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. Indeed. Get that through your head tonight. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Because if it gets in your head, it gets to your heart. Ooh, glory to God. We just got to get it to move from the head to the heart. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord God. Amen. Because if it just stays in the head and never gets to your heart, it won't affect your life. But it gets in your head and it gets to your heart, then, then something's done, been done right. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to get it to your heart. But before I can get it to your heart, I got to get it through your head. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I hope people have shared this message tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's actually been an hour, and I didn't realize that. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He who the Son says free is free indeed, according to Nahum 1 and 9. The attack cannot come back a second time. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible said, he who the, uh, the Bible says that they overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. The word testimony means to speak it again or to do it again. Testify. Speak again. That's it. Speak again from what speak again of what God has given you and done in your life. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tell everybody about the power of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't weep. Like those who have no hope. There are some funeral services where you will go and you don't know if your loved one made it in. I've said this before. I'm going to say it again tonight. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. If you're going to give your family life insurance, make sure you also give them afterlife insurance or assurance. Hallelujah. 
Let them know you've made your reservation for heaven. Let them know you're not the person you used to be and that heaven's going to be your home. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. How? By praying what you prayed a second ago, you just accepted Jesus Christ into your life and everlasting life begins the moment you say yes to Jesus Christ. Eternal life begins. Not when you die and go to heaven, but when you die to your flesh and heaven comes into you. Woo, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. There are so many people that live for a casket call. What's a casket call? That's an altar call that you get at somebody's funeral. But you never know if you've heard your last casket call. You need to get saved tonight if you're lost or backslide. And I'll just pray that prayer. But somebody tuning in, I just feel in my spirit, I need to say it again. If you're lost or backslidden, and you say, Brother HR, that's me. I'm, I've been living both sides of the fence. Pray for me. Pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I come to you as sinner. I believe you died on the cross. That God the Father raised you from the dead. I accept you now into my life, Lord Jesus. Accept me into yours. And fill me with your spirit that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. And if you prayed that, write to me, Kid Henry, K-I-D-D-H-E-N-R-Y-617 at gmail.com. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Now, a vitamin deficiency is being healed. I just heard the Lord say that. A vitamin deficiency is being healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that everybody has tuned in tonight. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I hope people will share this message tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. I hope people will share this message. Amen. Hallelujah. If you've never been filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. And out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Do it now, Lord Jesus. Fire. 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 Fire, 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 wash in the water of the word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God, amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Liver is being healed right now in Jesus' name. Not just that. I hear the Lord say, a dental miracle's coming. You've been having pain in your teeth. God is taking away the pain. He's re-healing the enamel. God is doing a supernatural enamel miracle right now. I just heard God say it. So I'm going to speak it. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Washing the water of the Word. I do that prophetically in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Now. Thank you, Jesus. When I was in heaven and I met Sister Catherine Kuhlman, she told me the secret to miracles. She said, Brother HR, she said, many people have made it too hard to receive a miracle. I said, what do you mean, Sister Kuhlman? She said, it's this simple. I said, what is it? She said, he professes it. We believe it. We profess it. He performs it. It starts with him. It ends with him. If people could get that through their minds and into their hearts, if they could get it into their heart, what I just said from the Lord, you can see miracles happen all the time. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
Now, if you desire to give, we now have PayPal. Actually, first, if you got healed, saved, set free, delivered, filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, write to me. Let me know what God has done for you. Kid Henry, K I D D H N R Y 617 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Let me pray for my brother. Kumar, in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray for his ministry. I pray for his family. God, I release the fire of God. Lord, I ask you to send angels of revival to, to that place in the name of Jesus in India. God, send angels of revival now, Lord. Send the breaker anointing. Send the resurrection anointing tonight. In Jesus' name, I rebuke death, and I declare that the dead will be raised in India. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Now, if you desire to give, we now have PayPal. The link will be at the top of the video for those on Facebook, the bottom of the video for those on YouTube. If you desire to give a different way through um, Facebook, pay you can uh, go to the messenger and, and click pay that is another way that you can give amen it's linked right into the paypal thank you for those that tune in to hr revivals hallelujah lord thank you for your love gifts large or small your love gifts help us keep going around the world not just here but abroad as well thank you holy ghost glory to god amen thank you jesus hallelujah Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. So it's the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Hallelujah, Lord. I'll see you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye. Hallelujah.